today's module, our main learning objectives would be to look at the prevalence of thyroid nodules, what are the causes of such nodules and the concerns, and we'll talk a little bit about the history and examination of a thyroid nodule, what investigations we should be performing, and how we manage thyroid nodules, and finally we'll wind up with an algorithm of thyroid nodule management. Now when we talk about prevalence of thyroid nodules, you've got to remember the prevalence would depend definitely on how we are detecting the thyroid nodule. Now if we are clinically examining someone for a thyroid nodule by palpation, the prevalence would range somewhere between 3 to 7 percent. However, if we are using something like an ultrasonography, the prevalence is going to be much much higher and there are studies which suggest that sometimes that such prevalences might be even up to as high as 70 percent. Now that we know that that's the varying range of thyroid nodule prevalence, let us look at the possible causes of thyroid nodule. The commonest cause of thyroid nodule disorders are benign. Starting with benign nodular goiter, nodules occurring on the background of a chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, there could be follicular adenomas, there could be simple cysts with or without hemorrhagic transformations. We could have mixed solid cystic nodules and of course the varying different types of malignancies starting from the differentiated thyroid cancers like papillary thyroid cancers, follicular thyroid cancers to the anaplastic ones and of course the rarer varieties like the lymphomas.